everybody, it's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I think I'm just going to do a straight pour on it, but I'm going to um, fill a couple of cups and maybe just add a few little different um, things here and there with it. Um, let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be Rust Oleum Metallic Accents uh, White Pearl. My next color is DecoArt Metallics Obsidian. My next color is Artist Loft Copper. My next color is Gold, Golden's Alzerin Crimson Hue. My next color is Folk Art Treasure Gold, just their plain gold. My next color is Golden Burnt Sienna, and I added a few shakes of the Jewelescent Coffee Brown Mica Powder to that, just to bling it up a little bit. My next color is Arteza Iridescent Shocking Lime Green. My next color is DecoArt Metallic Green, or Vert. They call it and my last color is a combination of four different kinds of paints it's a combination of artist loft metallic cobalt blue pevio dyna number 357 golden turquoise phalo and folk art color shift black flash and I will show you that color it's supposed to represent a color that used to be called mysterious and I watched Gail Bernston of life and splatters and this was her recipe for this color and you can see consistency right away today I did use the mix again and it was seven parts of the mix to one part of paint and I did thin it with about three or four drops of water each paint. So what I'm going to do is, um, no silicone use today, what I'm going to do is um, bring you back in a few minutes. I'm going to put down my base coat, fill my cups, and then I'll bring you back. So be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put down my light layer of my base coat. I've filled my three cups, and I am uh, ready to just start. And like I said, I think I'm just going to do a straight pour, or like what's called a waterfall pour on this. We'll just see how it goes. Just tipping the canvas right now a little bit to get the paint to run down. I like using these paper cups because you can squeeze them and have like a funnel on them. Control the paint a little better. Okay, there's my first cup. And I've purposely, purposely left paint in all my cups in case I have to um, do another cup. That won't be a problem. So I'm just going to... Um, Take one of my other little cups now 
and just do probably a little spiral pour here. Just to see what we get. This is just all experiment and fun here. Okay. And because I do have some of my black left, I'm just going to do a little line of black here. And what I'm also going to do is, since I really like this Elzirn Crimson Hue color, I'm going to put that in a little paper cup along with some of the blue. And I'm also going to just run it through this, just to give it a little more color here. Just playing around with my paints here. Okay, let's just do a little tipping on this now. See what we get. I'm also going to add some of the white paint since I have some left, my base coat, just to help the paint move a little bit. Okay, let's do some tipping here now. And I'm going to bring that back. Hopefully you can see some of that. I'll 
I'll try and turn it so you can. And I am going to leave that this the far excuse me the far edge. Going to leave that as negative space for a while. And I am fixing where my hand just went there. Okay. Just going to see what we have here. I'm going to just try and put a bead of this red Alzarin crimson hue along this one. Okay. And I'm also going to take a couple of my green colors and run a bead along along here. And I, now I'm going to take my last cup and we're just going to play with that also. Let's just see what we get here. Just feel, felt like doing a lot of playing around here today with my paints. Okay, and I'm going to add some blue before I start tipping again. And I do have some gold left, so I will add gold. When I watch Jilly Cube, she says it's your painting your rules, your art room. And that is what I'm going for today. Just having some fun with paint. Seeing what we can do with it. Mm. 
matter of fact, let's run, let's just run something through this and wreck it while we're at it. And let's add some more color to it. Okay. All right, so let's do some more tipping. Chipping off that edge there. And let's tip off this edge over here. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'll tip down this way. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna see what I have here. See what I need to cover yet. Just covering my sides here. Okay, let's see what we have left here. I am going to put my base coat right here and cover this edge. And I think what I'm going to do is just bring it down a bit into this negative space. See if the paint will move at all. And hopefully you can see that going on. And now I'm bringing it back. really trying to stretch this out. I love the lines that I'm getting here. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take another look at it here. Okay, 
I'm just going to take a little tool I have here. Just bring some of this down here a little bit. Now I'm going to just cover this edge here. Just going to try and tip that down a little bit again. See if it will move. Looks like it's moving just a little bit there. Okay, and then bring it back just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it here. See what we have going on? And I'm hoping that you are seeing most of this in the camera. And I think what I'm going to do is just take my little spatula here and just add a few little elements to it. Okay, and I'm going to torch it now. And I am going to just tip it down this way a bit. I do want to run a little bit of that off down there. And then bring it back. And I apologize. I know that you're not seeing it come back right now. But I am still trying to stretch that out. Just 
just playing with the composition of it here. Okay. I like that a little better. Just run my hands along the bottom here and clean off the edges. And I think I'll get you down for a close up and you can tell me what you think. First of all, though, what I'm going to do is I'm not really, really satisfied with this with this green line here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this lightly through here just to break it up just a little bit. Maybe bring out a little bit more of that light green in there. There, I'm more happy with that now. Just playing with these last minute details here. Okay, let me get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Again, this was just a straight pulp pour that I played with, a couple of cups of paint. And this is the upper left-hand corner. And this is very pretty in here. Let's see if I can get it focused good. There you go. Very pretty in there. A lot of pretty colors. I really like that Elzarin Crimson Hue color. Lots of colors going on in here and the stripes are very pretty. Very pretty in there. And then here. And this is just taking you down the middle. Very pretty here. That, that red is so vibrant right there. And through the middle. You got some cells there. And again, the stripes in here are so, so very vibrant and distinguished. They're very pretty. All the different greens, very pretty in here. And this is that negative space I left up in the right hand corner. And this is just coming down the right hand side. And that's the lower right. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And please check your subscription. I understand that YouTube has been having some issues where you think you might be subscribed and you're not subscribed and, you're, and, and your all is not checked. So make sure that is done if you are a subscriber of mine. And thank you to all my subscribers and all my watchers. I really do appreciate you. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.